And we're back. I am so low on energy today. I was more sleepy than I realized. I don't feel super sleepy yet, but I feel just energyless. But hey, let's keep going. Return. Of course. Oh, also, I just saved my progress. Just noticing that I can even do that. So before we do anything else, I'm gonna, I've am i been sort of putting it so I was going to read these uh, sections in between us doing things. So let's read about the Neurostalgia Institute. The Neurostalgia Institute is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the study and treatment of psychological trauma. Scientific research, constellation, standard treatments, and non-standard treatments are all offered at the Institute. Neurostalgia is most well known for its use of neuroprobing, a revolutionary and highly effective method of treatment for clients who struggle with deeply repressed memories or traumatic events and for whom other forms of treatment have been un un unsuccessful, basically. Then we have the history of them. Sorry, I was wiping one thing out the microphone there, which I noticed was there. For decades, the Neurostalgia Institute has boldly forged a path into the future are charting the unexplored waters of health treatment, combining cutting-edge technology and best-in-class professionals to administer treatments that have forever changed the field of therapeutic wellness. All right, the future. The Neurostalgia Institute is a growing establishment that is constantly seeking out the most effective and cutting-edge treatment options for its clients and care of its employees. Istalgia Lens. The Istalgia Lens is Neuroprober's sidekick. This highly sophisticated technology detects subtle details within the mindscape and translates them into legible format. The Istalgia Lens also serves as a communication device between the Neuroprober and the Neurostalgia Institute, allowing him or her to communicate remotely, access his or her toolset, and record progress as it occurs. The Istalgia Lens is a critical part of, the, of easing the transitioning between reality and the mindscape, and it is mandatory that neuroprobers wear their Istalgia Lens at all times of the Neurostalgia Institute. And then, uh, staff. It's the credits. Oh, goodness. It's the credits. Alright, we'll read trauma another time. Now, client. What is regularly Isol Spa, Snow Spa, Table Sim? Looks like I've got two other patients. And what the fuck is this? I'm gonna click it. Seem like gallery playing tribute to the terrors our staff have overcome. You know, let me let me look at this imprint. Curious. Let's see what we got in store here. Take me into the hall of whatever. I'm curious. You're entering into a world much more sparkly than our own. Now let's see what's through here. Hmm. It's a tunnel, all right. And we have Tyler Morse, horse car. Horseshoe crabs? Is that supposed to be a horseshoe crab? That's kind of odd, but I can roll with it. Uh, creepy crawlies. Alright, Dr. S. Fear. We have Ben Drake's Isolation. Alright. Leave session. I'm gonna finish looking around, obviously. We have Natalia Jula's Rotting Flesh. We have Anonymous Spiders. We have Nick Round's Crowd. So I'm guessing this is something like people who uh, paid more than a certain amount got some model representing some fear of theirs inside the game or something they want to be represented as a fear. Crowds. That's my guess at the very least. Dr. A, Heights. I'm wondering what Kickstarter games that are going to look like whenever, if Kickstarter movement like disappears years from now, people are like, hmm, what are these random segments with names and weird things? Jesse Boucher's The Paranormal. Val Butch, Predatory Animal. Rar. Brian Watson, Buried Alive. Aaron Ronald Reynolds Spiders this is the same spire from earlier. I'd feel gypped. I can leave the session, but nope, I'm looking around. Lisa Reynolds Sharks. And then yeah, the crowd thing. Tight spaces, Derek Wright, just represented by people. We have Greg Simmons on clowns. 
<laughs> and then from there, we have heights. Mm -hmm. I think we're seeing some stuff here. Death. Uh, tight, dark, deep caves. Crowds. See some reoccurring ones. Needles. Oh, yeah. Headless mannequins. Heights. Sharks. Apparently sharks are more common of a fear than I thought for people to say. Here, yeah, here's a question. Do you know your greatest fear? There's spiders again. Crowds. If I was to submit an answer, I'd probably give some bullshit thing. I just think it would be interesting for them to model. <clears throat> Lords, that's snakes. Clowns. Death. Heights. Sharks. I'll give it this. Sharks are much more common fear than I thought. Horseshoe crab. Like this one. Horseshoe crabs. That's an interesting thing. It sticks out from the other ones. Anyways, I think I'm going to find a session leave then because I've now looped. Alright. Let's go. Out. Going places, going places. Yes, I am obviously afraid of candy. The Hensel and Grail stuff we just did, I was in tears. Now, let's move on to the next one. I wanted her to burn me alive just so I get out of that candy field. <laughs> let's see, start client. Idle Spa. Activate and print before we go on to this. I'll do the other ones later, but I'm going to do the first two and then the rest of them when I get back. But I'll see the Isle Spa. Still, though. See where I end up at. Yep. The Mindscape and Plants. One less sparkly away. Hmm. See where we're going. I'm looking at the bonus things that I know that aren't the main chapters of the game. These are just things. Disable guidance. New session. I can make it nighttime. Interesting. I'll go with daytime right now. Let's check. Hmm. Let's explore this field of palm trees. I'm ashamed to all the scientists out there. Of course. Look at this bubblegum sea. Music's relaxing, I'll give it that. It's gonna put me to sleep. <sighs> Fake growling, snoring noises. Let's see. Try closing your eyes and focusing on slow breaths for five deep inhales and exhales. <sighs> no, I, I can't make snoring noises. They come on like growls like I'm a tiger suddenly. Well, let's see where we're going. Yes, I'm going full on dog mode. Let's see. You know, the question you have to ask yourself if you're more of a dog or a cat person. Not like if you're more into having cats, more into having dogs, but if you have a personality that's more like a dog or a cat. And whilst I'm used to cats, and I love cats, and it's who, uh, that, in that sense, I prefer cats as a pet to dogs, if I had to honestly say, as a person, I'm probably more similar to a dog than I am to a cat. That's just my personal process on it. I'm not sure, would you guys disagree with my personal assessment of myself? Is there any disagreements there? Do I seem of those two? Would you guys, I'm curious what you guys think you'd be. Answer below in the YouTube comments, like, subscribe, cut, cut, cut. Close your eyes for a moment. I did that somewhere, be somewhere that makes you feel calm and happy. I'm inside a mindscape, aren't I? Make it appear game, snap, snap. Still though. 
A lot of people think of them more like a cat's. Enable guidance. Okay. Let's leave our session. See what we have to see on the other side. Where to go? Where to go? Hmm. Now let's actually go to an actual client. Though I am kind of curious what the snow spot looks like another time. 251. Client 251 being seen by Dr. Gamer reports feeling as scapopovia and as heightened sense for mother's death. Has no conscious recollection of any traumatic events happening in the past. All right, let's do it. I mean, now let's go do what we need to do. Do we only have like two patients? Well, let's do what we have to do then, I guess. I thought he'd be considered a loot run. Do I don't know. I don't know. Who's just remember me to say? I'm gonna sit here. Let's let things go. Um, I guess I don't know where to start. Anywhere? Okay. Uh, well, I've been a real estate agent for the past 20 years. I graduated from a small college just about half an hour from here, actually. Um, I've never been married. I have no siblings. I've always loved cats. <laughs> I hate churches. Uh, I guess I've always been a little bit of a loner. I really hate how people look at me, uh, especially lately. Uh, I've honestly felt pretty, I don't know, normal until about a couple of years ago after my mother's death. That was when things started to come apart. <sighs> Do you ever feel like people are just staring at you? Like when you walk into a room and everyone knows something they're not telling you? I don't know, I, I just feel awful when I'm around people, guilty, angry. It uh, I, I had a pretty happy childhood. My dad passed away when I was just a kid. My mother told me that he died in a car accident. I don't remember that day, though. Maybe I was too young. My dad and I always played jigsaw puzzles together. He was a businessman. I remember him always talking about the family finances. <laughs> My mom and I were never all that close, but I do miss her. Uh, she loved her wine. <laughs> uh, Lord, I don't know why this is happening to me. I was the perfect little girl. Don't even need to go into your psychoanalysis therapy thing. There's a few things that she said that were so obviously tied to things. She idealizes her childhood while her parents were still alive. And it's made a separation between that time and this time. And blah, 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 whatever. Here's a lot of houses. Look at those houses tilting over. Now then. They're, they they did the research, but maybe a little bit too by the book in some cases there. People are far more complicated than sometimes their individual issues. But, hey, let's roll with it. Which of these doors has a house? I just noticed that there's some screen stack on my screen. I didn't really notice that till now. On the bright side, though, I find this setting much more interesting than the hands on wedding setting. Not saying hands on wedding settings are bad, it's just, you know. Me having a tea party. It was so hot that day, and I remember being so thirsty. Teddy Bear even was happy about it. I'm a bear. I'm a bear. I'm a bearty, bearty, bearty. This is my bear bud. Bearty, 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 bear. Can't even get some nice teacup, though. There's nothing in the glass. 
Nothing in this class either. This is unfortunate. This tea party is very incomplete. What am I supposed to imagine the tea? <laughs> there are no doors. We are trapped. This is just the end of it. She's like, well, I'm trapped in between all these houses and all I've got is this tire swing. And I'm like, well, that sucks. <laughs> imagine if, if I... If a therapist was just like physically like that, it's like, my dad hated me when I was a child. Well, that sucks. <laughs> okay. Going right on through into uh, this next welcome mat. Who wants to bet they're going to have some fun with this? I'm ready to be welcomed to this house. Oh, they made me super small compared to the house. I feel like I'm a kid. I wonder what happens if I stick my tongue in this. That's what I have to question. And that's where all my concerns went as a child. What would happen if I sticked my tongue into this? Hmm. Did you pay them? I did my best. How late? Oh. It's your fault. You pay them then. Well, let's go in. Mommy, Daddy, abuse me. I mean, what? Let me go places. My childhood wasn't as perfect as I idealized it since my parents died. Yeah, we already know that. Yeah, I know. Because my childhood was perfect. I was such a good kid. Why did I grow up to be so messed up? <laughs> uh, I've got problems. Okay, that's why you're in therapy. Well, don't worry. Me as Dr. Gamer will go in your mind and punch some sense into you. I'm happy to know that my dad was, in fact, a priest ninja. Very hard to find those these days. Now then. Family Games Inc. For only the happiest of families. <laughs> Notice how she's really defining that her family is super happy. God, peace, puzzle, sugar, and spice, and everything nice. Now then. <clears throat> Let's see there. Wherever you are, I can't I can read you some books. Including living with cancer. <laughs> All right, then we have man managing stress. We have I'm all right, you're all right. We have from underwater to the free and clear and the memory solution. Oh boy, can't wait to turn this on and burn this house down too. Let's continue. Now, ooh. I can't remember their faces because I was just young. I can't even remember my face because it feels like that's not me. Ask your father, hon. Not right now, okay? Not right now, okay? Ask your father, hon. Not right now, okay? Ask your father, honey. Not right now, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Quite the kitchen setup. Hmm. Can't open the fridge. Can't do nothing there. Well, that's abstract time if I've ever seen it. Still, though. <clears throat> Modern class rules and more. Recipes that you can leave alone. Like you left your child alone. <laughs> I'm a casserole. <clears throat> Bread. And uh, I don't mean to question those of less stellar intellect, but truly the bread must be a symbolic for how bread absorbs. So thus, her having bread means that she absorbs the things around her. And as such, she thinks that she becomes impure simply because that she takes everything in and soon there's nothing but herself left like a piece of bread and I'm gonna put it in a toaster and maybe one day she'll be toast now going on to the next one this door open too is that the monster nation damned I know it's a royalty free sound effect but anyways let's go upstairs <clears throat> it's fine where it might be upstairs, the second floor is always the scariest floor of our house. We're so whittle and now we're so high. Where do we even come from? It's a mystery. Turn the lights off and go to sleep, honey. 
maybe? Maybe is that in the mirror? Oh, it's the lamp. No, I know. It's it's like it's a 2D picture that's reflected. That is a cow. <laughs> Why is this my room? This isn't my room. This is my parents' room. That right. <laughs> Had an interesting chase and decker for my two-sided bed. Mommy, I want the giraffe skin prints on my bed. But sweetie, you're five. No, mom, I want giraffe skin prints. And buy me some laundry while you're at it, sweetie. Now, let's look right into there. Daddy. Well, that was his name. His literal name was Daddy. 36 sales, 201 by 601. Inspector in charge, 512 to 88033. And the signature on everything. Oh, boy. Cancer train, close enough. All the fun stuff. Still, though. What a wig. It's a wig because when you have cancer, you often get chemotherapy and all your hair falls out. I've dealt with cancer. Not me, myself. I mean, I've had a, my, my mother had cancer. She's a survivor, though, so. Living with cancer. Then, managing stress and a safe. I can't. I thought it was gonna be a puzzle, but alas, it is not. At least I can't interact with it as a puzzle right now. I said, turn off the lights and go to sleep. And there's these trails of past due bills leading to my lights. So you know, maybe symbolic for something. My literal past due bills there. To see the dark, you must kill the light. It's a vinyl record. Vinyl. Lights off. <laughs> It's okay, the house got better when I was away. Now this looks more like my sort of interior. <laughs> of course. Now then, it's funny because I like horror. Not just to it. Let's see. Realize through that which has been left behind you. The solutions. You, volume 2. That which lies before you can be realized through that which has been left behind you. Of course. Hmm. Sorrow. Fruit. Fur. Fruit. And shower. Truly, it was the real combination. Let's see. That's a teacup. I'm a little teacup. Tea and cup. Put you on the bed now. I said... Put it on the bed now. I said, put it on the bed now. Well, I guess not. All right. They go where this goes. It's funny because this belongs where the teacup goes. We're having tea. Put it in the teacup. Let me get this next cup. Put it, in fact, where the teacup goes. My tea party won't be complete until after all the cups are aligned. I want to be a neat freak. Nothing in there. Wow, Mommy, what gruesome eyes you have. Now I can see the full details here. Mm. Yes, yes, it's now displayed on the wall so I can see it easily. Now, where's this last teacup? Oh, there it is. It's right where I started. I know where to put it, too. On the floor. How the fuck did you throw it all the way over there? Right, I'm Dr. Gamer. As I've established before, I am, in fact, a magician. Oh, something in here. Mommy's favorite drink was grown-up grape juice. It smelled gross. Yep. Yeah. That's the story of my life, kid. Now I am a magician! Alright, well, with that said. Teacup, teacup, what do I want you to say? I don't know. Tea, tree, shower, milk, fruit, gun, car, money, love. We'll look more around and figure out what that's about a bit later. Let's look around the house. Spilled. I kill my father. 
Did you kill my father? Let's see. I might have killed your father. Okay, what do they want me to solve? I got the teacup fun already established. I can't open doors because I'm like four days old. I don't know. But some detail here I'm sure is important. Daddy sales. Cow, fat, mommy. So something around here, because I can't open this door, and I assume it's because I need to solve that puzzle first. But there must be something here. Probably not the blood. And there's only a few things in this room. It's not like very much in this room either, so it can't be very complex. It's supposed to help me solve this puzzle. And it's just a three-thing combination between love, sorrow, tea, tree, shower, milk, fruit, gun, car, money. Hmm. Are we supposed to look for the bad things here? Or maybe it's the all cap things. Like, see how some of them are all cap? Or are all of them are really all cap, but like, emphasized all cap. That's not good enough, though. Hmm. So, I assume it might be related, like, this would be milk. This would be something. That would be something. That's probably what it is, too, so... Cows make milk. So, you know, that, I guess, would be... Milk. This would be a gun permit. Gun. Now which one would this be? Love. Milk, gun, love. Gun. Not quite. Alright. Is that milk? Now then... I mean, do you guys think of the options this would be anything else other than milk? It's literally cows. And either the cows look like they're dead, or they're carrying a gun, or that they're in love. There's literally... there's no trees. There's no tea. It's literally just cows. And cows make milk. You think it could be sorrow? It could maybe. Maybe cow, the cows are sorrowful. They, they don't really look particularly sorrowful to me. They just look like they're doing cow things. The last one could be sorrow. It could be milk gun. You think this last one could be sorrow? The Wayne dress may think maybe it was love. There's the arm around her. Though it's obviously a bit gruesome. It could be sorrow, though. We can roll with it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't lock. Alright, sorrow. Peekaboo. Daddy and his letters. He never wanted to play after the mailman brought new ones. Daddy and his letters. It's all those past build do things. Magic fingers. The door is opened. Let's go. Places to see. Because my house is now a twisted Ferris ground. Ew. That's a tipsy turvy moment. Down the rabbit hole. Or that hallway from Majora's Mask, or the thing that's similar to a, you know, amusement park thing where they have the twisty hallways. Well, let's go. <laughs> you spilled. Mommy always waved goodbye to Daddy when he drove to work. Alrighty then. You up. I spilled the bloody milk. The cows are dead. All of the cows are dead. Look that cow in the face and tell it that it's dead. All that fun stuff. It's homogenized, pasteurized, vitamin D added, half gallon, 189 libs. But it's happy home milk. What have you done? They know. You pour yourself a cup. Nutritional information facts on the side. It's you, 0%. And it's your total fault. They know 100%. Your fault, 
Why did 66 milligrams you spill 6 grams me 6 grams look at 60 grams what 60 grams you have done 60 is it's done 0 grams 100% you are 0% this is your fault serving size is 1 cup serving per contaminator eh pour yourself a cup delicious and perfect for a late afternoon drink with Plain tea party with your toys. Just don't spill me. That would make them hurt themselves. Isn't that right? Why did you have to spill me? Why did you have to make mommy and daddy so angry? Need help? Take a shower. All right. White as bone. Hmm. One. Tie. Why don't you go down here? Well, whatever, I'll see you later. There's clues. It's probably supposed to be me trying to spell what have you done. There's no D, so... Let's look around. Spill the alcohol. Spill mommy's adult grape juice. What's cooking in the oven? A delicious pot roast. There's a picture back there. Inspect. He died in a car accident, Mommy said. She was so sad, she hated questions about it. I'm still a magician, though. No, I don't mean to question here about the philosophical purposes of bread in this scene, but... My favorite radio station, the Sad Child Station. With strange background, ambient, dark industrial noises but then the radio was never plugged in oh sorry I'm in a weird mood today I can't get over it all right what about our happy home milk pour yourself a cup it's probably a clue whatever I need right here I don't remember what I said originally I'll get back oh wait you can see what you need to write because the letters are there I only just noticed Move that out of the way. So the B goes right here. The A goes right there. The w goes right here. The S goes right there. The L... Is there an L? I don't think there's an L. But the N goes right here. Hmm. Is that supposed to be like a D? Is it? It wouldn't be a T. It could be an E. I do have two E's. Wasn't even trying to spell. Well, that's an I. You think? It could be an I. You're correct. Hmm. That in was doesn't make any sense. Ba in whoops. <laughs> Devil is I need this food. It's in, but what is this spell? That is definitely right here. That is definitely a B. I think. That is no question, A. Are you really a B or are you not? To, no, that's not a B, but still though. Bandwidth's true. There's an E at the end. It looks... Yeah, you know what there is right here. That's an H. Bathe in... Woes. Okay, I see it. There we go. Figured it out. Milk. Before I go inside there. 
Bathe in woes. Well, there, you might as well just give me the answer. Never loved me. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna go inside my fridge then, Mom. Nice squirming. Now then. Get your own damned milk. Let's go through. It's okay. I can push it with great intensity. I have pushed it. Alright. Someone spilled the milk. It wasn't me, Mom. Daddy did it. Well, he's dead. Well, let's talk about the car accident, Mom. Why are you beating me? Let's roll that way and see what we got going on here. I'm going deep into the crevices of my milk barn. You see, why would you care so much if I spilled a little bit of milk, Mom? Look how much we goddamn have. It's happy home milk. It's all my fault. <laughs> Remember, kids, it's all your fault. Happy home milk. We'll make you happy. <laughs> okay. It's a maze of milk. Making my way. Found the bag home. Mom well, and dad were never home. It was pretty lonely. And then it was nothing but bags. Nothing at all but bags. Where do you think the escape lies? Not in the milk barn, at the very least. Let's see what we might see over here. Here we are. Still everyone's favorite burned plane. Still my favorite radio station. Remember, kids, remember the bread. Remember the bread. Mom, are you out of the shower yet? Stop suiciding while you're in there. Nice picture. Did you pay him? I did my best. How late are you? I that? have it under control. Why can't you pay the bill? I'm trying. It's your fault. You pay them then. Baba. -ba. Uh -huh. Interesting setup. I got a puzzle piece. Away from my rejuvenating health. I want more puzzle pieces. <laughs> we good. Another puzzle piece over there. Oh. He's just happy to see me, really. Alright, can I rotate the pieces or are they kind of stuck in the place? Because that will really change how I decide to interact with this puzzle earnestly. Yes, it fit there perfectly. I love how this all fits. I'll get back to you. Not there. You're the corner piece. That makes my job easy. There's only so many places this could be. Alright. Am I missing another? Well, there's no other pieces like that. I'll wait till a little bit further. Not Yeah, there. Perfect. You did your best. That's all anyone could ask of you. Now. Eh. Eh? Eh? I 
Pick it up. Oh, am I still missing a piece? Alright. Oh, there it is. Or no, it's that. Yeah, that's it. Found it! Let's see. We did it! Peekaboo? You're nice things. Thanks for the picture. Me trying to pour some milk. I made such a mess. I didn't realize you can actually turn these until just right now. I don't know if there's anything written on the back ever. Shadow Man, who was my ninja robotic father. Truly a man for the ages. Originally, puzzle, bills, car. Da -da -da -da. Nothing going on there? Nothing going on there. I wanted it to yell at me. Okay, Mom. Can I go out of here now? Seven, but not eight. There's a garage that's now open over here. I also realize there's a noose hanging from that tree. Or there's something that looks like a noose in one of the reflections really heavily. Oh, it's the tire, right. Okay. What's going on in the garage here, then? Different fields. Overpaid bills. Time to oxidate myself out with a car. And run into traffic. But of course, it's my favorite things. I don't close it. I don't want to go out there. I was just like, let me be free and ride into highway traffic. It's time to play my favorite game of Frogger. Well, no time to Frogger like today. Play Frogger, Frogger. All the shadow people watching. Who are you mysterious shadow people? Oh, uh, they're cutouts of my father. I think. Stay out of the way! Stay out of the way! Stay away from the toy! Just gave it a tap on the side, Mom. Don't mind me. Me going upstairs. Daddy was usually up there working. Maybe we can play some puzzles if he isn't too mad. Well, that's fun. Pulsate that flesh. Pulsating car flesh. Well, let's go to the car tunnel then. Figure it out. I wanted to get the picture. I'm following the sirens. We go in places. I'll get back to it. I'll go back to it. Hmm? Music got very excited. Go this way and see what we can see. Yeah, I gotta love the sound of car sirens. <laughs> that did make me jump. I admit it. Go away. Next one. Let's go for it. Go away. Oh. Head slam it up. I'm trying to figure out that, so I'm going to this car maze. Oh, 
Oh, it's got all these sounds, don't you know? Car sirens that way. That's a big thing of milk. Got milk indeed. Yep. Figure it out. So I'm trying to do that. Not this way, it's not. That's a nice tree. Where, oh where, could the car sounds go to? Bloody ass fridge, so it's backwards. He really wants me to figure it out, don't he? Let's see. Here it finally. Sounds so close. Not there, evidently. Probably this way there. What are we gonna see at the end of this car tunnel? Let's find out. I don't know. Let's see. Let's check this way. I'm going to assume there's something more this way, so come for it. Maybe it's on the other side of this wall, okay. I now have a direction in mind. Now to figure out how the fuck I get there, if I can even get there from here. This seems tricky, so I'm gonna have to do some sort of roundabout ways to get to where I'm trying to go. Because evidently it's not here. But it sounds like it's here. It's probably through the wall, but how do I get there is the question. I went back.